DC Eric here and today I'm going to be doing a video on what you see on the screen. You're probably wondering why is that so special for? It's not actually special. It's actually something that makes me angry and probably a lot of um, other people who are playing a lot of games or, or other um, software that ha used to use um, secure ROM and safe disk. Um, well, that error on the screen it, it tells you to log in with uh, administrator privileges or I guess open the software with administrator privileges so yeah why don't you just go right click on that little piece of software and run as administrator and see if it works then you can come back to this video and wonder why you're still seeing that error on the screen now the reason why you're seeing that error on the screen is not a virus it's not malware it's not anything else but Microsoft releasing an update removing those DRM services or privileges um, for that, that those services on your computer that's right so any game or software or whatever that use secure ROM or safe disk cannot be used on your computer you cannot play the games that use those services or use software that use those services so I mean like I, I'm pretty baffled on why Microsoft would do this um, essentially the reason why they had done this was to prevent viruses that's right because secure ROM and safe disk cause viruses on a computer I'm not 100 percent sure but I've I've never seen a virus on my computer from those DRM services before so why would they do that I have no clue so that's right it'll prevent you from from running software I think anything that that's probably about four to five years old maybe a, little, a lot older than that and um, I know one of the oldest games that use that um, that go far back to like about 2001 or, or two Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 it used safe disk so um, and if you if you want to know what safe disk is um, every time you put um, or open your your game you usually see this little CD um, icon um, before the game loads and now what that is is it's trying to see if you are using a a proper disk not a burned disk because um, if it's burned then they will tell you okay you can't play this game blah 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 so now now that Microsoft has put that that update in place it doesn't matter because now you can't play that game they have completely they, they've ruined that so yes Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 was unplayable for me and I thought like this Christmas I, I was given a gift card for my brother and and I was like okay well you know usually th these things are because I can get games and um, my family isn't doesn't really know what I like for games so that's why they give me these gift cards so two out of so many games that I got from this gift card um, were not that great at least the one was playable and I might might bring that up in a future video but Sega Rally Revo was one that I enjoyed and this game was, I think was right like 2007 or something this game was released and and I, I bought it from a um, digital store um, from the web I can't even remember what the, the site was called and um, I was able to play it on Windows 7 perfectly fine and up until Windows 8 and, and higher I was not able to play it and that had nothing to do with DRM it was just um, compatibility issues with their own software so yeah I, I couldn't play that and and the company actually got bought out and they no longer host the the download for Sega Rally Revo so I ended up having to buy a physical copy which I have I have decided not to get for so long I, I always looked at it and I was like oh I want this game I want it so bad because it's awesome I finally get it and I was given this error today the only way to fix these situations is get no CD patches or EXE fixes 
and that that will usually get rid of the uh, DRM within the within the exe file itself there is other fixes over the internet um, and the, the main fix is to b remove the update or you can shut the DRM service down from the command prompt but that does not work for Windows 10 so you are, you are back to where I am where you have to download the no CD patches or the game fixes usually that's not a bad idea but Microsoft says that the DRM services are creating viruses. Now you want people, you know, these people who to, to play their games, the only way they're going to get these games is download these fixes. And usually, you're, you're, it's hard to get them because they're all over the place. And most of the sites that have it have malware or, or whatever on their site and, and could give you viruses. I know of one place, and I can't give it to you because, again, piracy stuff. But, like I, I said, this is this is stupid, and and some of these these companies that are that made these games and software, they're even more angry at Microsoft, and you couldn't guess why. I mean, they're going to be losing money because some of these companies still sell the software or games that they that are that had the the DRM services on them. I mean, why would Microsoft do that? So the, the reason for me to make this video is just to let people know that the reason why you're seeing that error right down there below is because of Microsoft. Now, I'm going to be leaving a, a link at the, at, in the description. And um, it'll, it'll tell you how to fix the problem for those of you who have Windows 7. Um, or eight, so you can remove the update or or close the DRM services. the The update that you're looking for, if you want to get rid of it indefinitely, which I'm not sure will cause any issues or or whatnot. The issue, the update is KB three zero eight six two five five, and it was released in September of two thousand fifteen. Now. I, I only have two games, and I've already told you. I, I probably have a lot more, but I haven't even went through the collection yet to figure out how many games Microsoft has screwed up for me now. And most of the time, um, like people will go to Microsoft Answers or, or the, whatever the thing is called now and ask for help. Usually what you get from, from some of these Microsoft reps is they can't find the issue. They don't know what the issue is. And like I said, the other one is that Oh, it was removed through an update because Microsoft thinks you're going to get viruses from these from these DRM services or other security vulnerabilities. Sorry, and like I said, I haven't from day one had any issues with those DRM service, other than of course the crap that comes with them built into the the software that they put on your computer, and that is to um, how many installs you do for a game and then. You know, you have to contact the developer to get that fixed up. So, yeah, Microsoft, thank you for this one. I mean, you know, I, I love Windows and all, and everything you've done with Windows, but I've never seen you guys go this far and remove a, a feature on 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 Windows that would prevent people from playing their own games or software they bought. I mean. This is a big issue for people who's probably spent hundreds of dollars on, on some software for, for video editing or photo editing or whatever. That's the stuff, that's the stuff that prevents, you know, the, the DRM prevents you from going, from using. And, uh, you know, Microsoft's just like, whatever, they make money anyway, they can go update their software or whatever. Well. Anyways, yeah, there's not much more I can talk to you about on this problem. Um, I'd like to do a future video, um, hopefully on what I got for Christmas. I'm, I can't guarantee it because this is the first time you've seen me in a little while now. So, yeah. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. I, I really hope you share this video around so people are aware of this problem. Um, yeah. I'm sorry I keep looking down, but uh, that's another issue in itself.
Thank you for watching, and I hope you come back to, to see another video in the next 10 months or so. Actually, I'm kidding. I don't know when the next video is going to happen, but I hope you come back. Thank you, and goodbye.